Hi everybody, this is Dan Marson at the Cosander Institute, and I just wanted to walk through uh, some work I did for Eric Posner, just as an example of some of the things that we can do down here that are not that difficult. So Eric came to me and said that he had a World Bank data set, and I'll copy it over here just uh, to show you. And he had uh, tabs for every country in this data set on, I think, some human rights data, um, just, you know, characteristics about these countries in general, laws, structures, institutions, uh, not really important what it was, but anyway, it's year by country, uh, and certain variables here, and he wanted all of the variables and countries to be collapsed into a single spreadsheet, and I guess he thought he would have to copy and paste everything by hand, which I guess is a reasonable thing to think, but it actually turns out that you can open up any Excel document with uh, Python if you use the XL read library or module. And so what I do is I just go through the directory that I'm in, I look for anything that ends in XLS, and I say those are going to be my Excel files, and for uh, I just loop through those and I'm going to create three lists. So the issue is there's colors here and those colors reveal certain things about, you know, whether there's a change or it's pre-independence, something like that. So we want to capture those colors and colors don't show up in a CSV file, comma separated variables file, only text shows up in a CSV file. Um, and so there's no formatting basically. So anyway, what we do is we go through the Excel files and we just do Excel read open workbook in that Excel file. And since I want to use the formatting info, I want to get the colors out of it, I do formatting info equals true. And we go down and I say, um, we skip the first sheet. So in Python, you would start at zero um, for the first element, but we actually want to skip element zero because that's the about data tab. We don't want that about data tab. Um, and then what we do is we append country to first row first sheet, which is just an empty list. Um, and then for every column in here, we just add that cell value. Because um, basically when we're going to collapse into a larger data set, we want to have, uh, you know, Algeria 1960, Y, Algeria 1961, Y. And Algeria is not here. It's down in the bottom. It's the sheet name. So we uh, actually append the... Um, name of the country to that. Um, and then what we do is uh, go through that, and then there's, I'm trying to get the colors out of it. So I say, you know, worksheet cell XF index, and I look for the background pattern color, things like that. Um, try to get the information out of what color Excel says the cell is. So um, I just represent them verbally. I'll say like 9 or 23, that's clear. 63 or 64, that's black. Um, I'm, I might have it backwards. Uh, but anyway, 44, 49, or 41 are all blue. 47, 51, 29, 45 are all red. Or possibly orange. I think there's an issue here with um, Excel 97 and uh, some of the colors maybe weren't consistently applied through the spreadsheet. So it's actually, uh, in some cases, the reds and the orange are mixed up mixed up. Uh, if color is 31, then it's green. If it's 46, then it's purple. Um, and so, anyway, I go through there and I create a new list of colors. And then I actually want to see if those colors are correct. So I just come with my own list of colors. And I say, um, I check what color is in the list of colors that I make. But I also check and see, you know, are the rules that they say, are the rules for the color, are they actually applying? So like, was there a change in law, or was it like a pre-independence thing? Or like, if you have blue, so like, let's see if we can find one where there's blue. Okay, so blue is supposed to be, um, I guess here's some blue. Blue is supposed to be new law enacted, but does not trigger indicators. So like here, this stays consistent, yes to yes, no to no, so it's blue. But here, no to no, that is no change, but they have it colored red. So why is it colored red? Here, yes to no, there is a change, uh, that is correctly colored red. Here, Y, 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 those are all fine. Um, here, C went to B, 
So that is a change, actually. So that should uh, be colored red. So it seems like there's some inconsistency in how these colors are applied. Uh, it seems like they're applied incorrectly. So I just go through those and I see, you know, is it wrong? Is it right? You know, and then print these to their own CSV files. So if you look in here where I have plow, I already have these printed up. These are the colors that I come up with. And you see we start with the country names on the left. And I have the um, color values. I also have just the regular um, values that are in the spreadsheet for all countries. And then I have my own list that's called uh, output file dance colors, where I have the colors that I assign them based on what the values of the cell are and the coloring rules. So uh, this is actually, I think, pretty quick to run. If I run it like this, it is processing. And then like four seconds later, it's done. I have it print out some flags um, based on when things come up and they're inconsistent. But uh, you know, feel free to do that if you wanted to print something up for yourself where you were concerned about, um, you know, I think this if statement should happen all the time. But if it doesn't, I want you to print flag and the current row that I'm on in the name and so on. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Again, this is something we can pretty easily do. It takes just a couple hours of coding and should really speed up your research. And um, you know you wouldn't have to rely on a research assistant who also might be making mistakes in terms of copying and pasting or you know finding cell colors, things like that. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.